Water, 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 water. And is the glass half full or, or is half it empty? Half empty. Most say that when you look at the glass, it's half empty. You think negativity or pessimist. You look at the darker side of things in life, and when it's half full, they say you're a pessimist or you're you're an optimist. <laughs> more positive, um, but some people argue that you're not a realist if it is. So what do you have to say about that? Well, let's look at this, Connie. First of all, our body is our temple, right? And what are we? We are made up of water. 50 to 70%, which is more than a half full, is our water. Mm -hmm. So what can it do? We all know that it helps with our digestive tract. We all know that it helps things flowing. Mm -hmm. We know that it lubricates joints. And you know about the mind as well, what it does for that. It does. I'm so thirsty even just talking about, step aside and get a glass of water if you need to and just fill her up. Join us, join us, join us. But anyway, you know, there's always, I always look at it as, who cares? The glass is always refillable. You know, I mean, let's just say we don't want the water at all. And we've had enough. <laughs> let's just say we've had enough. Let it go. Let things go in yeah. life. You can look at this as a glass is half full and half empty in so many ways that pertain to your own mind and body. If you don't like what's going on, make a change in your world. Throw the water over your shoulder. Exactly. Let it go because you know what? The cup is always refillable, you guys. And no matter how much, no matter how much, you can just keep filling oh, it up. Oh, it overflows. <laughs> All right, you guys. So what I'm trying to tell you is the cup is always half full. Full. Sorry, Ange. I got us a little wet. Oh, that's great. It doesn't matter. Oh, you, you forgive me? I totally forgive you. So even if we make a mistake, forgiveness is not that easy, we know. But what we're trying to say is just look at the cup is always half full. No matter if you spill it, if you overflow it, if you throw it over your shoulder, let it go. You let just go. keep moving mm -hmm. forward. But Ange, what if the water is sitting there for a while and it gets stale? Well, it doesn't matter because it's always refillable. It is. It's always refillable. So, you know, there's a book out there, or there's an article actually, Richer, More Positive Life, and it just proves that people that are more positive in life and that do see the cup as half full, that you live longer because you're taking the time to take care of yourself. Absolutely. And you guys, all of us go through some challenging times in mm -hmm. life, and it's you can be an optimist and be positive and learn that those challenging or negative times are just temporary and yes. you can move past it and you can learn from it. And that's what we all have to do to have that fulfilling, motivated, happy, positive, optimist life. You make the choice. If you decide that this cup is half empty, that's your issue. That's for you to decide. It's n it has nothing to do with the person um, the other person and what I mean by that is you know when I when my girls say well so-and-so is saying this about me or that about me It's none of your business what someone says about you. So the cup is always half full Make that choice within yourself to decide that it's full if you think it's half empty Maybe that's time for you to reflect on yourself and try to see within yourself what you want to use to complete yourself and use more of, or what you're hung what are you hungry for that you want to learn more of to um, to perfect who you are. Exactly. And just remember you guys, like I said, our our bodies, our temple is always more than full, half full. It's always there. So if it was emptied out, we would be dead. So think of that as your outlook on life. When you're always constantly thinking of the glass half empty then your outlook of life is almost dead. It's like, what's the, what's the point? You know, the struggle. So think of it as half empty. It gives you something to look forward to. It's something to go after. Something that actually wakes you up and gives you your purpose. So if your body, the average of the, the average amount of water in the human body is 50 to 75%. Mm -hmm. Adult men, babies, and children have more than adult women on an average. So even um, obese men and women have even less. Your body is always starving for water. So why not think the glass is always half full? Your body is always, always needing that water. If it's empty, you don't, you don't have anything. So half full is how you should always see the glass. Absolutely. Remember, you guys, when you guys are going through those times, you can keep refilling, keep refilling, keep refilling. And drinking and drinking. Yep. And putting... Putting the good, positive things of life in, the positive people, positive situations, the things you love, and that's what's going to overflow all the negative out, okay? So just remember yes. that. Just good keep one, going. Ange. I like that one. Thank you. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you. So keep the negativity out, 
Even if you're filling it with the good, let the negativity overflow without. I love yeah. that one. That was really good. Yeah, thank you so much. So everybody out there, Ange, is the cup half full? Or half empty. Does it matter? It's refillable. So shed the chaos, keep the fun, and live the lifestyle you deserve. Woo!